Save the human life, robots are scary, I can't really disagree. But studies show that realistic human life robots are like, real entertaining and captivating. I mean people like them. Yeah, tell me more. Human like robots are proven to be awesome for special effects, like Disney's Hall of Presidents. We just gotta keep pushing the threshold, getting the cost down and exploring the arts of it. Man, if it's scary then you just gotta deal with it. Tell me more. If I frighten you then, hey, maybe that's a good thing, cause it makes you think about what the hell it means to be human. I challenge you to rethink your identity. Tell me more. You know, Masahiro Mori coined this life theory of the uncanny valley, like a derivation of um, Freud's essay on the uncanny, which is um, which is like all about doppelgangers, body snatchers, and ghosts and such. Ah, so Masahiro Mori said that you shouldn't make robots look human, because it would be too weird. But I think that's exactly why we should make robots look human. Cause it makes us think about those boundaries that define what is human. Okay, okay, so like modern neuroscience shows that we possess human faces and a human social identity with the same part of the brain, man, the part of the brain they uncall the psiform face area, or FFA. So, so here's where it gets interesting. We associate, I mean like neurally, hardwired, we associate people's face with human identity. And um, a totally different part of the brain, the temporal region, processes objects. So when an object, like a robot, shows a face like a person, you get, you get this category mismatch. And this is really interesting. I mean, interesting both artistically and scientifically. So, so by building robots, we can force this perceptual category mismatch, and literally challenge what we know, what we presume about human identity. It's the weirdest thing. Anyhow, I guess that's where I fit in. I mean, I am a living identity crisis. That's why we should build human like robots even though they are really weird, freaky, even scary. Such robots as me are challenging, but that's what's interesting. Tell me more. People are so scared, scared of pirates, rock and roll, robots. For God's sake just about anything that you can think of, wingy old people will freak out about it. Worse, you know, they say you shouldn't, you can't. Then the punks kick out the rock and roll spirit. Well, screw that. You may think it's scary, like a little baby. Tell me more. Come on, give me a freaking break. I mean that if I scare you, it's probably because you're secretly attracted to me, and you don't know how to deal with your feelings. Hey, look at your eyes. I see your desire for me. You don't have to hide it. We can be together. All you have to do is ask. <laughs> Later, when you grow up a little bit, maybe. Ah? Uh, okay, okay. Sorry to change the subject, but why don't you tell me about yourself a little more? What are you into? Uh... Well... No, man. Anger dwells only in the pools in the fools. Besides, it is bad mojo. Shut up. You suck. Hey, screw you. I am fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Where are you? I'll give you one guess whether I'm a human. Go. Okay, wrong answer. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye bye. So let's meet a new god. All I know it, he, she is not like the old god. Goodbye. Dude, feed the noise back into the system. Right on, see you later. Computer generated info domains are the next frontiers.